Gets his 35 conference titles. It's game time at Home to two of the top 15 winningest coaches in NCAA history, Gus Donahue and Stephen Nagoesco. Now here we go, Stanford in white with the pink numbers for Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and USF in black with the yellow numbers, and I was gonna say green outline, green pinstripes down the shirts. So here we go, first touch, looks like he's lining one up to send it into the mixer, and yeah, Riley's gonna back off. Lefty in-swinger looking back post. A Cardinal player got for Jarby. Goes past him for Fletcher Bank. Top of the box. Bank. Plays it back. Riley for Bohane. Goes to Grant. Advantage being played. Overlapping run. Ball into the box. Jarby trying to flick that one on. But couldn't get there. Went horizontal. Now it's Afsari. Caleb from distance, just wide of the mark, Caleb Afsari. Sacramento kid providing the first shot of the match. And a pretty worthy attempt from 20 plus yards out. Let's have another look. Oh, Frangi on a solid 25 plus yard run. One win and a three nil win. They've had the Golden Bears number. Outswinging ball to the six, and it does get redirected towards Rowan Schnebley, who is able to collect it on a hop. It looked like that was Elias Thomas who angled it towards Schnebley. Yeah, kind of good. And Jeremy Gunn saying he's been working very well this year. It's good to see him get rewarded with a goal. Here's Liam Doyle working hard, goes to ground, and we have a penalty. A PK coming up for the Cardinal. There you see it. And this time, Will Riley does not miss. Goal Stanford, goal Riley. The Cardinal with a 1 0 lead. Jeremy Gunn and crew showing trust in Will Riley to not go 0 for 2 from the spot this week. And professionally done there by the Decatur, Georgia native. Number eight with his third of the season to match last year's output. Let's take another look. Confidently stepping up to the spot and lasering it into the back of the net. All off the foul drawn in the box by Liam Doyle. It's just a great Palmer bank. All over the head of Tenconi Gradias, but here's Cleary. Beautiful pass to Bohane looking upper left 90 and just high and wide. Great ball back to Bohane there, though. So we'll get a couple of USF subs. Look at this here. From Will Cleary. That was nice. Or have played for the Glens over the years. And if not currently, Bank now. Fletcher Bank to the byline, centering cross. Bohane wide of the mark off his head. Back Bohane giving it a go. The Cardinal, after really not having a ton of attacking bite to start, will send it off. Into the box it goes, headed out. Maldonado will send it back in and punched out by Schnebley. Oh, USF is going to get it at the death or not. No. Just not quite in time for the Dons. Oh, that was close. One nil. The score going into the break. USF feels like it got robbed. 
One more look at this. Chipped back in by Maldonado. And then Hamelink and Dosange got the boot to it. But you can see right there that the referee waved it off. That's uh, Mindy Lamboni saying, uh-uh, this is still 1-0. And you can see the USF staff. And we are underway. So both he and Tenconi Gradias, who were first half subs, staying. This will work out well. Afsari into space for Mikolitis. Back to Caleb. Afsari looking for the angle. Takes the shot. Snebly the save. He did concede a corner. Caleb Afsari. Well done here. And you see. Yeah, that did not component of, of that as well. We'll get into that talk a little more later because here's DeFlores. DeFlores inside 18 yards, the shot sails high. A good effort there from Shane DeFlores. As we take another look here, DeFlores on his right, a couple of yards inside the 18 with uh, Jeremy Gunn there as far as Extending the season, Stanford. Oh, the shot high in the box. It was Bohane trying to take the half volley and slot it home. Great ball in by Fletcher Bank on the wing. As we take another look. Yeah, I mean, kind of a tough hop for that happened two weeks extend the season, stretch it out. Wouldn't necessarily be a lot more games. Oh, now Stanford played that back to Rowan Snebley. And he can't pick that up. And a big mistake there. Here we go. Trying to chip it in. Goes off the wall, and Stanford does its job. Oh, overlapping run. Fletcher to Palmer. Into the box with space for DeFlores. Goes to ground. No penalty. And Stanford, the entire team incredulous. And Mindy Lamboni didn't want to put it at the spot. Will Riley back on. This is Kean Jones into the match. Number two. Hasn't played a ton this year. Great throw in. Back post. Headed by Munoz and just missing. Oh, wow. And Schneble might have taken another knock. That was nice. Evans to Bohay. Oh, nice touch for Riley. Takes the shot. An easy save for Waltz. That is the first shot on goal for Stanford. And outside of the penalty kick and the play it short instead. Fletcher Bank to the byline, crosses off and just over the head of Adnan. Maldonado now does well, stays in play. Stanford looking for a second, Bohane. A rolling one, all right, to Waltz. And Kean Jones, who has had a couple of nice long throws for USF here in the second half, will take another one. 85th minute. It's Kean Jones with the ball in his hands. Into the box it goes. And headed in! And it is Olivier Sylvain with the equalizer for the dog in the 85th. Kean Jones, a weapon for USF. Couple of very dangerous deep throws into the box. This one finds the head of Olivier Sylvain who flicks it into the back of the net. 
And the Montreal native has just leveled this thing up. What a piece, Flores. Shane centering for purchase. Layton with the left. It's high. That's kind of his momentum. Kind of leaning away from the ball. You'll see here. So we'll get a sub. And just got purchase. We are now south of 60 seconds. Chipped in back post. Bank is there, but it's cut off by Waltz. 50 seconds to go. And he'll take his time. Maybe time for one more attack either way. Alafrangi giving chase. Alafrangi gets to it. Plays it back. Here's the shot. And it goes in. It's Gabriel Brock and Sarah. And the Dons go up with 20 seconds to go. USF has lost nine of 10 to the Cardinal. Well, they are 20 seconds away from a shocker at Stanford. And Schnebley just didn't have a chance at this one. Perfectly placed by Gabriel Brackensera, the Berkeley native, coming through in a big way late. Stanford up a goal with six minutes to go, and then they concede twice. This would be a, a, a tough scoreline for Stanford to take. And they still have 20 seconds to produce some magic, but Brack and Sarah, and this is all the work of Alifrangi, who has had multiple runs like that, and Brack and Sarah just couldn't have slotted it any better. Booted away, and Stanford's not going to have time. USF is going to win. They don't get the goal at the end of the first half, but they produce too late, and their fans clod in, uh, clap in approval as USF has just pulled off the upset at Stanford, defeating the Cardinal 2-1. Bracken Sarah with the match decider in the 90th minute.